Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back, and hello, Sivas. Wink, wink. Um, this is a monster spotlight video, something I have not done in quite a long time, and I'm going to be spotlighting Eveline's Evo 2 um, fi five star, yes, five star Boltwing. And I just wanted to say that you don't necessarily need to have really, really good monsters in order to, um, you know, take part in this monster spotlight. If you have something that you want to show to the community, something niche, something that you think is going to be helpful to other people, um, then I definitely think that it's it's worth making a monster spotlight for. Now, the interesting thing about the bolt wings is they are very, very formable. Like, actually, they are formable. Like, that's just what what they are. But they also give you at least, um, I think, two at the at the very least for free. So you can basically, um, you can basically keep keep farming. Like you can keep farming these bolt wings, and eventually you'll get one to Evo three. But I don't necessarily think you need to get one to Evo three. It should be relatively easy for you to get one to Evo two because you only need to get two more bolt wings. Um, so it's definitely something achievable. Nothing too hard. And if you don't have him, then he's also not a monster that you 100% need as well. But he he will be nice to have. Now, Evelyn says that this, this, his bolt wing is going to be very, very good for farming Golden Speed 7, which is water, and I would assume so because of the elemental advantage and because of how he is a, I think it's, he's a fairly um, decent wood nuker, in my opinion. So we're going to just take a look at his gem build really, really fast, um, as usual. He has him on, on 5 star gems with crit rate, crit damage, and attack. I think this one's a 6 star one. Now, I don't necessarily think you need to have really, really, um, you know, like, you don't need to have 6-star or 5-star gems in order to farm B7. Basically, with 4-star, it should be enough. And, um, but he does have it built full glass cannon. And it's very interesting because um, he happens to have a lot of flat HP substats on his gems, which boosts the HP of this bolt wing up relatively high. So it, it should be able to survive all right in B7, especially with the elemental advantage. Now, to show, to really show this off, I, um, to, to kind of show off this monster, I brought a 100% armor breaker, I brought two healers to make sure nobody dies, and we're just going to try out its damage and everything since that's kind of the, kind of the focus here. Okay, so, um, as usual, oh wait, I just, uh, I think I, I think I reinstalled the game, so there's messages coming up. All right, I'll waste these two's attacks, and then we'll we'll try the bolt wing. See how much damage it can do. All right, that was about 8k. If you have like a, if you have like a, um, a Mona or something, should definitely or or a Miho probably should be hitting like maybe a few hits of a. Uh, few hits of like 2k or something like that if you have it like evil 2 um like evil evil 3 five star max level it should be around around that range but we're going to try it again with the armor break now the bolt wings i don't think have they do too many hits but they do like one very hard hitting hit um this is definitely i think a disadvantage to to the bolt wings because they if you do less hits, you actually generate less blue souls. But damage-wise, it's not. It's it's actually pretty high, especially if you have an armor breaker. So if you pair him up with like a wood miho, which is um, very very staple, a lot of people build wood mihos. So she, she's basically you know the best one out of the three RGB elements, the wood one. Um, I definitely do recommend building her. If you if you pair him up with an armor breaker, he's going to be doing quite a lot of damage to. Um, to the golem. Now, the next really, really good thing about the bolt wing is he's going to be healing every single turn. He's been healing for three, three k every single one of his hits. Um, so he can serve at not not only as a well, actually, um, he's his main job is a damage dealer. But the other really good thing about him is you can build him full glass cannon like the the way that he's built right now, and he'll be able to basically sustain himself and and won't um, won't die. Now the other really good thing about the bolt wing is it actually has the um, has the ability to heal everyone. So we're gonna just see um, how much it actually heals my other allies. All right, so that was a little bit fast, but it was like 3,000, 1,000, 1,000, 3,000. So maybe about like 8k worth of heal. 
that is actually really really high for um it's re really high for an evil to like any monster you know it is pretty comparable to like a heal from like the, the light snowing it's basically the same skill and especially with elemental advantage since he is wood if he's going to be hitting water monsters it's going to be healing for quite a lot at the same time it's dealing doing to the enemy quite a lot of damage as well so um yeah, I think it's I think it's pretty good. I think it's actually really nice. If you can get him to Evo 2, I definitely do think he's really, really nice to have on a B7 team. Because he can definitely speed your runs up if you don't have any other wood monsters. Um, he's like more than farmable because they actually give you one for free. But the, the hard part is actually getting him to Evo 2. Now, I probably would not recommend you uh, Evo 3 a wood boltwing, but the the advantage to having Evil 2 Boltwing is you can actually use them now, early game. If you're at the point where you're starting to farm Golems B7, you can actually use your use your Wood Boltwing, um, you know, temporarily during this time. And then when you eventually, in the future, you can just keep them in your storage for for a really long time when you when you don't no longer need them to do anything. But um, in the future, whenever there's like a, you know, whenever you feel like you ever feel like doing the Shiva fusion, for example, you can take him out and feed him to like your Fire Bolt Wing and make your Fire Bolt Wing Evil 3 for the Shiva fusion. Now with Armor Break, it definitely does like one shot anything in this dungeon. It definitely does quite a lot of damage. It's, it's um, I think probably the, the best one out of the RGB elements. I know a lot of people like the Fire one for the debuff, but the debuff chance is actually quite low on the Fire. Um, it's also an attacker type, so it doesn't like if you compare the fire one stats to like a wood leo, for example, it's not it's definitely not as good. But this one's actually pretty good because you can use him like um, as a full self-sustaining monster slash glass cannon slash healer as well. So he provides utility for your team as well. All right, we're just gonna speed this up. Would armor break this guy? I'm gonna do one last nuke. It's like 20k on armor break. It's actually quite a lot of damage. I think I forgot to turn off the uh, the animation. I uh, I reinstalled my game. That's why the animation for the bosses and stuff are still on. I haven't seen this in quite a long time. It's actually uh, almost nostalgic. Reminds me of the good old days when I just started playing. All right, let's uh, let's just armor break him, and then we'll see how much damage this guy can do on the boss. All right, that was 13k. That was like 15% of his max HP. Now we'll we'll send the other two to hit the other guys on the side, so we can see how much damage actually does. Um, I can also use the nuke on one of these side units as well. Alright, I got I actually just got taunted. Now, both the side unit and the boss is armor broken. We're gonna try to try out this nuke. And it should definitely be healing for quite a lot since it's gonna be hitting hitting for a lot and it should be doing a lot of damage. Alright, well it's definitely a lot more than its first skill. And then we'll we'll wait for the armor break to, to actually wear off. And then we'll try to hitting the boss again without armor break. The good thing is he also doesn't take a lot of damage from this dungeon because he he's wood and they're water. So that's that's definitely pretty good. Um, his stat, stat distribution is relatively even. Was that about 4k on the boss? Now the water boss does is relatively tanky. He does have a lot of, uh, well I wouldn't say a lot of HP, but um, quite, a, quite a bit of HP. So we can definitely, yeah, we can definitely try this again. See how much damage? Does 4k constant damage on crits. Now, I think this guy might have 100% crit on his bolt wing. Or near 100%, so it's going to be hard to see it not critting. But you can you don't really necessarily need to build um, these like RGB monsters with crit. Even if you want to go flask can full glass cannon, you can actually, with 4 star gems, you can go like 3 slot attack if you don't have um, a lot of crit rate. But I think this should definitely... I think this should might might be able to actually no it won't be able to finish off the boss. We're just gonna finish off the boss like that. 
Alright, so that's pretty much it for um, for this monster spotlight. It's actually pretty nice to, to show off a monster that you can use in the early game. Um, something obtainable, something that's kind of more relevant to more people. If you have a Boltwing sitting around EVOL 2, you can definitely um, use them, gem them up, and or if you have enough bolt wings to get to Evil 2, you can you can definitely just uh, get it to Evil 2 if you don't have anything to farm B7 with, and it's definitely a pretty good monster. So that's pretty much it for this monster spotlight. If you wanna have if you wanna be in one of the monster spotlights, um, you can leave a comment with your in-game name or send me an email. The link uh, or my email link is in the description below as well. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.